Welcome back guys, this is Vishu from Savage Camp and in this video we are going to do multiprocessing with the pool function and pool is one of the most famous multiprocessing uh, functions that people use and we will use that in an example today and the basics or the explanation of this pool module I will explain it in the next video but I want to show you how it works and then I will explain to you with this example how the pool function works. So from multiprocessing import pool and I am going to use time and random. So let's define a function f of x that takes a number and answer is equal to let's just return and what are we going to return random dot rand int one and thousand into x into x so this is what we are going to return a kind of complicated mathematical expression so define without pool so this is going to be very simple i will do for i in range maybe like 1000, 10,000, 100,000 I am going to send this to f of x so f of i answer is equal to f of i to see how much time it took for this I am going to do start is equal to time dot time so it will take the time at this time when it ends it's going to take time dot time and we will minus start so we have like end time so we have how much time it took print without so now with pool is going to be kind of similar the only difference is we are going to use the pool module so it will not be this for loop it would be p is equal to pool and then I have to do list 1 is equal to x for x in range let's do 100,000 so we have a list and we have to use the map function I have went over the map function in the past I have a video on it over here basically what you do is you send a list to a function to make it do that function over and over again so in this case we have this list that we are going to send to this function and make it do over and over again so if I come here answer is equal to p dot map I'm going to map the function which is f of we don't need to put f of x f and then what am I pushing into f I'm pushing the list one so for every element in list one it is going to execute this the same thing with pool took this seconds let's go with if name is equal to is equal to main let's call without pool first and then with pool so if I run this now you will see without pool took 0 0.06 seconds and with pool took 0 0.21 seconds now you might think what is wrong over here why is without pool running faster than with pool the problem is over here we have a short number this hundred thousand believe it or not is quite a small number for this execution so if I do 1 million and run this same thing again you will see that with pool is way faster than without pool almost double so if I do 10 million this is going to take some time because it's like 10 million numbers so without pool took 6 seconds and with pool took 2.6 seconds so it's 3 times faster and I'm doing a simple example I can do square root of math dot square root of x and this might take I don't know how long it would take let's see 
actually we can do for a million numbers because so again this is way faster and the more complicated your function become, becomes the more time it would take without pool but with pool it is going to take lower time but that is a simple function that shows you how to use pool in multiprocessing basically you do p is equal to pool so you initialize the variable p with the pool class and then pool function and then you use the map function to put the function which is f of x and you put in a list so all the map function does is it would take every element of this list and send it back to f every time so i think that is it for this video guys in the next video we are going to go over details about how to how this actually works in the background but that is it for this video guys and i will see you guys in the next one